I give you guys an overview for the process control on lab eight. You have two different processes that you're going to be keeping track of simultaneously in your PLC. One of them is going to be the filling of the reservoir tank. The other one is the filling and the stacking of these jars into the uh, box. What you've got is you've, you'll start off with a start-stop station, you'll start your conveyor running. Once you start your conveyor running, the whole process starts. If the conveyor is not running, nothing else runs. You've got empty jars coming in, they'll come up to the filling station, they will fill for one and a half seconds. One and a half seconds is actually a long time to fill. I've extended the time out on a lot of these items so that we can see the process happening. In a normal fill station, it would probably be filled extremely fast, but we've slowed it down so that you can see this process happening. Okay? So we take one and a half seconds to fill. When you turn off the fill valve, the mechanism automatically drops a cap on there. So that's an automatic cap uh, process. You'll open up the gate valve, which will allow one can out, and then it snaps up to lock the next one in place as it comes in. The conveyor is moving continuously underneath these cans, so that when you pull the gate valve down, everything moves, and it drops back up and locks the next one ready to start filling. So when the gate's up, the conveyor's still moving, and the cans are just, the conveyor's just sliding underneath it? Sliding underneath of it, right. Okay. What happens is when you get 12 cans set up in this loading area up here, you actuate, I left that off of there, but you've got an actuator up here that will swing in and push all 12 of those cans into the box. Okay? This operates once every 12 cans, rotates, pushes them in, and slides them in the box. From that point on, it's handled by another station. All you're doing is filling it, releasing it, letting it count up to 12 cans up here, and then you sit there and push them all in the box. Once that happens, the next station takes place. Now down here you've got your pump, your variable frequency drive, variable speed drive, and this is controlled by the PLC. You will be programming the drive for the four different set points that we've got set up. Okay? And you can program depending on these controls that you'll set there. Which lines are high, which which direction it's going, and which speed it's going. Okay? Two wires are used for on-off and direction control, and two wires are used for speed control. And all that information is in the documentation on the drive. Now, you've got your tank here, 0, 25, 50, 75, 100% full. And if you remember in the specs, it talks about the pump will run at a speed that's dependent upon how full this is. The other thing, we have a set point. We have a set point. I can come down here to the set point and say I, say I want to fill to 100%. That's really easy. If the set point is 100%, everything is zeroed to 100. 50% full, we're running at whatever the specification is for 50% of the fill. What happens though if we find we only want to fill up to the tank filling of 50%? So we adjust this set point down to 50%. Our max fill is our 50% percent point on the tank. Now this is where a little math comes in. If the tank is at 25 percent, our set point is at 50 percent. We are 50 percent full of our set point. Right, your set point of 50 now becomes your new 100 percent. Okay? I could raise that set point up to 75 and that 75 is now the new 100 percent. And everything is scaled from there. You're going to have to do some math. Use the math functions, the multiply functions, the divide functions, and do your math scaling and everything on there so you can control the speed of the drive 
based on where you're set at. Okay? So this process here for controlling this drive, you can set that up on one part of your ladder diagram. You've got your analog input, you're reading there, your analog set point, you're reading there, and then your four outputs to your pump motor. You're also looking at the conveyor. The pump does not run unless the conveyor is running. So the conveyor starts everything. Okay? You can drop in, you can look at your set point, you can look at your fill level, and then you can set your pump based on those items. Once that's done, you can continue on and now start working this process here. Okay? You start your timer for your filling, you open up this, you start your timer for your filling. Timer expires, it gets capped, you open up your gate, let another one in. You also have your counters you have to keep track of. Once you get 12 of them in there, you start this process over here of operating that. Everything has a time associated with it. Okay? Any questions on this process?